Okay, today we're looking at this Ava Media PW313. It's a live streamer cam, it's also known as a live streamer cam 313. It's ideal for podcasting, streaming and gaming. It comes with two built-in microphones apparently. Uh, they're both mono though. And it comes with a flexible 360 degree design. So let's have a quick look at the box. So you can see on the box here, it's quite a nice box. It's uh, got sort of like a, um, a gloss finish to it on the actual product on these wavy lines. But again, it's a black product on sort of a black background, so it doesn't pop 100%, but it, it's all right. Um, the front says you can uh, share your moments, and it's full HD. Uh, on the first side, you've got all your specifications there. On the opposite side it just shows you the camera itself and the model number and on the back it's got even more specifications by the looks of it in different languages. On the top there's not much, it's just the hangy hook and on the bottom it's got your barcodes. Okay so this is what you've got inside the box. You've got the camera itself which has got roughly a one and a half meter long USB cable and the quick guide so which is basically your manual. So inside the manual it tells you the basics of how to use it so it tells you all the parts and what each part does. Uh, it tells you how to connect it up so plug into USB it either hooks over the top of a monitor uh, and it's got your swivel function there. You can also uh, attach it to tripods as well, and it gives you all the specifications on there. It tells you about the ReCentral or RecCentral or whatever you want to pronounce it, which is their software for doing animations and different effects and stuff like that, which uh, can be pretty good. We'll have to take a closer look at that in a few minutes. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this camera. First of all, it retails for £49.99p in the UK. Obviously, it may differ online and so forth, but it gives you a rough idea. As you can see here, you've got your lens itself. It looks like one microphone there and one there. You've got an LED indicator there. Obviously, you've got your lens itself there. You've got a privacy shutter on there as well. So this bit here slides across, so if you're worried about someone watching what you're doing. You've also got your flexible clip on the bottom, which obviously hooks over your monitor however you want in it. So you'd sit on your monitor like that, and then you move that to basically grip on. So it's pretty straightforward. On the bottom you've got your camera mount, or tripod mount should we call it, and otherwise you've just got the USB cable there which uh, is roughly around about one and a half meters long. First of all I'd like to apologize for the room we're in at the moment, this is our temporary recording studio while we're building our new studio. So basically what we're doing here is testing this Logitech C922 streaming webcam and give you a comparison against the Ava Media webcam which we're going to have a look at in a few seconds so you can have a rough idea of the difference. Again, this webcam is a Logitech one and I'm using the microphone and obviously the camera function in it to record this. Now I'm using the Ava Media webcam just to see what the difference in quality is. Again, I'm using the microphone what's built into it and just looking at this picture what I can see here from the presentation on my monitor, it does look a lot darker and duller. We're using currently the same software which is the built-in Windows software just to compare the two without using any of their specific software which may give each of the others uh, advantages for special effects but one thing I've noticed it looks a lot more grainy and it does look a little bit darker. Okay here we are using Rec Central or Record Central or whatever you want to call it. It's a software what you can download for the product and most Ava Media products use this software and it's pretty straightforward. It's if you want to stream online, you can basically put a picture of yourself in a corner, your logo on, add text on and stuff like that. You don't have to stream, you can record, um, but you can do it all from the program. So it links up directly with YouTube, Twitch and whatever. If you want to edit things, you can easily click on the little plus sign down on the left and press add device, screen capture, video image, text and web. So it's pretty straightforward to do. If you want to add text, you just click text, type in what you want to say. Um, so please 
sub and then you can choose the colour, width and different bits and bobs like that and it puts it on the screen and you can drag it around and bear in mind the people at the other end don't see the menus popping up or anything like that they just see the bit what says please sub now you can add logos on in the same fashion you just add it as an image and obviously if it's got a transparent background it obviously is transparent so it's sort of see through um, you can do the same with your image um, of yourself you can basically um, adjust it so you can crop it so for example you only want to show that bit and then you can move it in the top corner and you can always use um, a bit what's called um, background removal which goes by what's called chroma key so basically if you've got a green background um, it will remove the green or you could change it to blue uh, or red but obviously if you're doing that make sure you're not wearing the green green blue or red otherwise it'll make those colors look invisible um, or you can go into custom and choose your own color bear in mind this is froze up a few times I've used this so uh, um, I'm not sure if it's my system or not but um, this is a pretty high spec machine you're looking at an i9-9900K with a GeForce uh, 1080 uh, in there with uh, 32 gigs of memory so this should be powerful enough to run it um, but you click the chroma key oh it's let me do it this time you click the colour of the background and you can change the colour strength which is not working very well because we've got a white background which is not really one, one of the best colours to choose because obviously you have white pigmentation in your skin uh, and also I've got other things in the background so you're best sitting and against a clear background preferably your red, blue or green. Overall I'm very happy with this product. Um, it's very good. The sound quality on there as in recording um, does seem to pick up quite a lot of sound uh, and it's uh, able to record more volume than my Logitech webcam does on standard settings. The only catch on it was we found the picture quality probably slightly under par against the Logitech camera uh, and on top of that the it seemed to be um, not do well in a slightly darker situation so make sure your room is well lit uh, the software what comes with it where you can obviously live stream directly from the software um, the rec central um, and also remove the backgrounds and add other things like images and text onto your live streams is absolutely brilliant saves you having to buy other software um, to do that with so a few tips for using this or to make sure your room is very well lit as well as having a green, blue or red background uh, with nothing else in the background so the um, chroma key can actually remove the background uh, from your pictures so then obviously when you're streaming people will only see you and not obviously everything in the background. So in conclusion we highly recommend this product. It allows you to basically capture your desktop as well as yourself and your audio. It allows you to get rid of your background as well. You've also got that privacy slider over the actual camera. Uh, sound quality was good. Picture quality we did find not as good as the Logitech but otherwise it's still a very good webcam.